Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, we will be discussing all about vertebrates. So let's start. First, when we say vertebrates, it belongs to one of the phyla of the animal kingdom called phylum cordata. Phylum cordid consists of a dorsal spinal cord running along the entire length of their body. Cartilage or bones are the building materials of most vertebrate endoskeletons. Did you know that vertebrates can be classified into different classes? Here are they. We have mammals, birds, amphibians, fishes, and reptiles. Let us now discuss all of those. The first one mammals. Mammals have mammary gland. When we say mammary gland, it is essential in the process of lactation. Mammals also are warm-blooded animals and they are covered with hair or fur. Mammals breathe through their lungs and most mammals live on land while others live in water. Those animals are some of the examples of mammals. Mammals are classified as uterian or placental, marsupial, and monotremes. When we say placental, these are the animals who develop their young within their uterus. Some of its examples are the cat, dog, and etc. While marsupial these are the animals having their young on their pouch. Those are the examples. And when we say monotremes, these are the animals that lay eggs. Number two, reptiles. Reptiles are endodermic vertebrates. They are composed of scaly epidermis and they are terrestrial animals or they are fully adapted to live on land. They breathe through their lungs for respiration with an exemption for turtles. And reptiles use their legs and feet for locomotion and some reptiles are viviparous while others are oviparous. Next, we have amphibians. These are cold-blooded animals that spend a part of their lives in water and on land. Vertebrates which can live in both land and water are called amphibians. They have smooth and moist skin and also they lay eggs in water. Number four, birds. Birds are endodermic organisms just like mammals. They are vertebrates with feathers and they are capable of flight and some can swim as well. Birds have two pairs of limbs. The first one is the forelimbs and the second is the hind limbs. They also have strong and lightweight bones and their mouth is in the form of a horn covered by a beak or bill. Also, they lay eggs with shells. And the last classification of mammals are the fishes. Fishes are considered as ectodermic animals and they are equipped with gills for their breathing process. They live in either marine or fresh water and they covered with scales. Fishes also lay eggs in water and their young are hatched from eggs. Economic importance of vertebrates. In terms of mammals, mammals serve as our partners in agriculture. It is also a source of food. Three, service animals by people. Four, mammals can keep as a pet. Five, 
it can be used in medical and scientific research. And number six, mammals can balance the nature. Next, reptiles and amphibians. Number one, it serves as food for some communities. Two, venom. Because nowadays, a lot of people invented that the venom can be used as a medicine for some diseases. Three, it is used by some farmers. And number four, pets for some individuals. How about the importance of birds and fishes? Number one, sources of food. Two, kept as pets. Three, biological control. Four, assist in seed dispersal. Five, balancing the ecosystem. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something about vertebrates. Again, when we say vertebrates, these are the animals with backbones and it is classified into five. We have number one, mammals, two, reptiles, three, amphibians, four, birds, five, fishes. I hope that you learned something and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.